ako orong dito and I said I would stake my honor my life and even the presidency Magandang tanghali, MPC. Kasama na natin si Chief Presidential Legal Counsel, Salvador Panelo. Good afternoon. MPC, question. I'm ready. Sinong una? Ina? Microphone, please. Hi, sir. We'd like to get your uh, reaction to a statement made by uh, ICC uh, Prosecutor Fatu Bensuda. <clears throat> saying that the uh, preliminary examination will continue even after the uh, country's withdrawal from the Rome Statute. As I said, if she does it, that means she is violating the provisions of the Rome Statute. The Rome Statute says when there is a preliminary investigation and or proceeding relative to that, then if this was started prior to the withdrawal of a state party, then the ICC can proceed. But there is no preliminary investigation to speak of, only a preliminary examination. What, um, is there any sort of cooperation from the Philippine government that the ICC uh, can expect with its plan, supposedly? None to, whatsoever. It, will there be an official directive to government workers or uh, departments to perhaps instruct them? We will leave that to the president. Follow up, Marisan. Sir, um, Assembly of State Parties President Ogon Kwon said that he is still hopeful that the f uh, withdrawal of the Philippines from ICC will only be temporary. Uh, what can you say about this, sir? Not during the watch of this president. So you don't consider, uh, you will not reconsider the withdrawal. This is already final. I don't think so. Even, even other countries, powerful countries, share the same sentiment that ICC has weaponized human rights in the fight against drugs. It has been politically persecuting heads of the states. Because, uh, and oh. I think the, what this prosecutor is doing validates the accusation. Because the Rome Statute is very clear. Only when you start, started the preliminary investigation that you can commence even subsequent to the withdrawal of a state party. But there is none to speak of. There is only a preliminary examination. And that process is to determine whether or not ICC can take jurisdiction. Because, sir, preliminary oh. investigation shows or means that it has already determined that it has jurisdiction. So it has not even decided. So why are they continuing? 
Sir Ogan Kwon kasi is saying that uh, this is an effective uh, way or key to promote accountability among the heads of state. Don't you agree in his statement? I disagree. I have, we have already pointed out that in this country we have a judicial system which is robust and functional and very effective. And we have shown to the world that three presidents have been subject subjected to the machineries provided by the Constitution relative to ousting them with respect to certain abuses they have committed. And we have demonstrated that. Follow up. Rosalie? Good afternoon, sir. Yesterday, you mentioned about the possibility of deportation if ever ang mga ICC prosecutors will insist on investigating. Yun pong level ng intrusion sa sovereignty ng mga foreigners sa bansa po natin, ano po bang batay ng palas doon? Kasi the government has deported non-Patricia Fox because of participation po sa mga political rallies. And, pero hindi naman po tayo ganun pagdating sa mga Chinese illegal workers. So, not, we are not that with respect to because, illegal workers? Because the president mentioned before, let the Chinese wor no, illegal workers We already work. clarify that with respect to Chinese with working permits, they can stay. But we already said that any foreigner who is here in violation of immigration laws will be dealt with accordingly. Now, with respect to ICC personnel who will come here and violate our sovereignty, then they will be subject to deportation. That's a stern warning po coming from the palace. Kahit after po nang binigay na pahayag ni ICC prosecutor Fatou Ben Suda. Definitely, because they have no jurisdiction over us from the very start. More so if they, be, they believe that we have withdrawn. So what basis do they have to continue? Plus, what I've been repeating, that there is a provision in the Rome Statute that outlines the procedure under which it can continue to assume jurisdiction, assuming it has. It has not. Follow up, Cedric? They, they seem not to understand their own provisions of law. Preliminary examination, I will repeat again, is a process by which they want to determine, or it will determine whether or not it can assume jurisdiction if there are present jurisdictional crimes. Number two, if the state is unwilling or unable to proceed. That is the preliminary examination, and that is the stage under which it commences. While preliminary investigation, ICC has already determined that aspect, and so it can assume jurisdiction. So how, how, what is the basis for the ICC to continue investigating? Cedric. Sir, good morning, sir. Good morning, po. Sir, uh, in uh, continuing with the uh, preliminary examination, sir, would you say that the ICC, or particularly Prosecutor Fatou Bensuda, has an agenda other than uh, performing her duties? No, obviously, yes. I guess, as we said, the, the accusation is being validated more by his actions. Ano, sir, ano po sa tingin itong agenda nito, sir, and who may ano be pa, behind it? The political persecution of this president. Sino po kaya, sir, ang uh, nag-i-initiate uh, po nito? I don't know. Uh, you can ask him. 
Sir, follow up lang, sir. Sir, uh, nire-raise po kasi doon sa DFA forum kahapon. Paano naman daw sa hinaharap uh, sa, uh, sa mga susunod na administrations? Ano daw yung assurance sa may protection ang, uh, ang mga Pilipino uh, kung wala na naman tayo sa ICC po? We've never been under the ICC when we removed three presidents. Ano mo pinagsasabi nila? I cannot even understand that. Ang titigas ng ulo nila. Anybody can file any complaint against any incumbent official, even this president, after he steps down from office, if he indeed violated any provision of law, he will be accountable. So I cannot understand why. Those fears are misplaced, if not recklessly advanced. We have a rich history of making presidents, officials accountable in this country. Daniel, follow the microphone. Sir, good morning. Clarification lang po na sa kaling pumunta si Ben Suda rito at ang sagawa na mga ganong klasing investigation ipapadipot po ba natin? We already responded to that. It applies to everybody. Other, other issues. May ICC follow up. Um, Marisol and then Ina and then Chris. Okay. Sir, just quick follow up. You mentioned that um, political agenda, yung reason ni Bansuda for uh, wanting to pursue the trial or the investigation. Why do you think ganun yung yung naging agenda niya, sir? Really what know. will she gain from, from I don't know. pursuing? Why is he doing it? What I know is that international organizations appear to have conspired against this president. Why? They ought to believe what they've been receiving from this source, the Philippines, false stories about the situation in this country. naging basis natin for saying na it seems na merong conspiracy among... Eh kasi halos lahat sila para parang sinasabi. And they are also citing the same figures. Like for instance, those uh, international groups of lawyers. They're saying that we have been or will be affected adversely with respect to our economy relative to our position on human rights. But the, our economic managers have already issued a statement to that effect that there is no correlation between their claim. Because one, we've shown that our economy is doing well. In fact, much better than the previous two administrations. Moreover, as correctly pointed out by our economic managers, the considerations that will be considered by the foreign investors are, they mentioned about One would be the macroeconomic considerations, the no or minimal restrictions, plus with respect to getting permits and licenses, no corruption, those are the considerations that a foreign investor can usually take before entering into country and invest. But the fact is, our foreign investments is very good. Um, let me point that Remember this U.S. report on uh, human rights? 
what came out were only the bad things that they observed. As I expounded on my statement, there were very good things that were included there, but it never showed print. And the human rights groups just pick out those bad things and spread it. Last three na tayo sa ICC. Uh, Ina and Christine. Uh, no, Cedric. Sir, what are these um, international organizations or groups that you uh, suspect or you claim are engaged no, in a conspiracy? The two, one, the Law Asia, and then number two, the, the international group of lawyers who just came and called the press con. I don't know what what association is that? And you s are you saying that they could be, um, they're in a conspiracy with the ICC? No, what I'm no. saying is they, they appear to be in conspiracy because they're saying the same things. Conspiracy among, just among, to be clear, just to be clear about it, conspiracy among, sino sila? Oh, those who speak against this president and this government relative to human rights, relative to drug-related killings. They're crossing the same line. Do you think that they are, would you, where are they getting the information Where that the you information? Say? Of course, they are getting the information from the critics and detractors of the president. When these people issue statements and our newspapers print it, that's their basis. And they believe that hook, line, and sinker. Thank you, so sir. unconsciously, they <laughs> appear to be in conspiracy. Unconsciously. Yes. Thank you, sir. Okay, Cedric. Kaya nga di appear eh. Appear. Appear to be. Okay, okay. Cedric, then last is... Kasi look at the... Look There's such a thing, sir. Look at the figures. A conspiracy na hindi nila alam na nakukonspire sila. Oh, yes. Of course. Wittingly or unwittingly. Hindi ba? There's such thing as wittingly or unwittingly. Kaya ang dating tuloy parang, bakit para pareho mga sinasabi nyo? You cite the same figures. You say 20,000 plus, hindi naman totoo. They keep on pounding on that. Like, yung lawyers daw, pinapatay, inaatake. Since when did the president attack the lawyers in yes, this country? Yes, sir, but my point is, how can it be a conspiracy when you're saying uh, they're unconsciously na nga, there? Eh, hindi ba? Uh, wow. Kaya nga, there's such a word as wittingly or unwittingly. O, yun yun eh. If everybody is saying the same things, eh, parang nagkukons, mukha lang nagkukonspire. Okay. Kahit hindi. <laughs> Kasi para, para silang orchestra, they're okay. singing the same tune. Yun, At yun least it's yan. clear. Thank you, sir. Okay, last na sa ICC. Cedric. Sir, I don't, I don't know if this may sound quite a stretch. Ano? Pero sir, talking about the agenda and who's behind it, would you say, sir, that this, this has anything to do with um, geopolitics, perhaps, vis-a-vis uh, the no. shift to China. Ako, tingin ko lang yan, simple lang yan. Eh. When, when you believe in false news, bogus narratives, eh talagang masisira, discarte mo. Iba lang iba ang magiging tingin mo sa isang bansa. Okay, other... And how will you, how, for instance, how will you account the fact that we have a robust <coughs> foreign investments Eh, kung totoo yung mga pinagsasabi nila, eh, natakot na lahat yan, naglayasan niya. Takot na. Can you imagine? 20 plus thousands extrajudicial killings. Eh, matatakot ka talaga. And, uh, they, they cannot even realize the fact that there are hundreds of police officers killed and injured, seriously injured, in the process of police operations. Eh, dun lang dapat ma-realize nila na hindi ordinaryo ang ginagawa ng mga police. They risk their lives. Okay, other issue, Nestor, then Christine, and uh, Janeline. Sorry, follow up. But before that, may I greet warmly 
the birthday celebrator, Julie of Inquirer. Happy birthday, Julie. Hello, sir. Sir, you mentioned kanina, uh, the government won't be cooperating with the ICC probe. Does it mean that you will prohibit PNP and other government agencies from giving information to the ICC? I don't think they will even give. Well, you don't have to tell them that. But if ICC requests hey, well, for well, They cannot even come here. They cannot even enter here and if that is their purpose to investigate. Kasi they are already intruding into our sovereignty. Eh, wala, na nga, wala na nga sa jurisdiction eh. Pipilitan niya pang pumasok. So government agencies, PNP, won't give information to ICC? I don't think they will give any information. Well, they can get the facts coming from legitimate sources like you people. Sir, uh, regardless of the decision, do you think the ICC verdict on the case would still matter? Do you think it's still credible, uh, truthful? It's not credible because from the very start, you don't have jurisdiction. You're still coming. 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 You're credible. Nestor. Good morning, Secretary. Uh, yes. Speaker Arroyo clarified this morning that the House has not withdrawn its version of the 2019 budget. What is Malacanang's take on this? I was with the Speaker an hour ago at an event in Shangri-La BGC. And I asked, her, I asked her, and she said that they're precisely meeting. I think any time now, or they're already meeting. Oh, no, not yet. Siguro kasi mayroon pang Senate hearing. I think this afternoon. Precisely to tackle that. And she confirmed that it's uh, Congressman Zamora who is the, who's negotiating for the... Where did the confusion came from, Secretary? Because it was Representative Samora who confirmed, and even Secretary Senator Laxon who said that indeed the House has uh, decided or agreed to withdraw their version of the 2019 budget. And here comes the Speaker saying uh, they have not agreed to withdraw their enrolled copy of the bill. And may I quote the Speaker? He said, if Congress could not come to an agreement, then there's no bill to send to the President. So I do not know if we will agree. Oh, that's, that's the reason why they're meeting today. That's what she told me, they're meeting now, today. Let, let's just wait for them. But may we have your reaction, sir, because uh, even after the president uh, mediated between, uh, the, med between lawmakers, Senate leaders, and the House leaders, uh, there seem, uh, it appears that the impasse has not been <laughs> still well, continuing. We already made a reaction to that. In fact, I issued two statements on that. So the, the, the same statement remains until such time as they submit the enrolled bill. Any move from the president, sir? Or no, we'll just wait for them to settle their differences. But what if their differences won't be resolved, sir? Well, uh, we already responded to that. We said they're ready for that. Okay, so for now, no move from Malacanang. No move from Malacanang. Thank you. Any follow-up sa budget? Joyce, then RJ. But sir, is the palace not concerned? Kasi tumatagal na tumatagal na hindi napapasa yung budget, which means may epekto ito sa programs for the funds needed for the programs. We're concerned, but what can you do if they don't want? Well, what we can do is to undertake measures to prevent, like the salary of the teachers were doing something about that eventually they will they will have to pass the national budget sooner or later the palace will have to wait but you're advising them to at least speed up uh, resolving this well, we've issue. been telling them to settle their differences we urge them earnestly to pass the bill we're telling them even that the people will not take it lightly if they continue to ignore 
the demands of the times. Christine budget ka ba sa budget? Okay, RJ. Sir, uh, you mean Speaker Arroyo and other congressmen are having meeting with senators? Yes, that's what you told me. Mm -hmm. How did you ask the, the speaker, sir, regarding the matter? No, she just, uh, I don't know well, how, how it evolved. We, we were just talking then. Oh, yeah, I think I asked, um, Mom, what's the latest? Oh, I'm going to meet with them. Uh, Congressman Zamora is, is the, I think is handling the ball. Mm -hmm. Parang ganun ang sinabi niya kanina. Did you express any concern, like the concern of the president on the budget? Wala naman, wala. Yung lang, kasi pauwi na kami pareho eh. Palabas na kami ng hall. Alright, thank you. Okay. May follow-up sa budget. Other issue, Christine? Uh, Prince? Hi, sir. Good good, uh, good afternoon, sir. Hi. Sir, we understand that the ALG has uh, filed administrative and graft charges against the 46 um, politicians who were allegedly involved in illegal drug trades, but criminal charges related to drug offenses have yet to be filed against them. Kailan kaya to, sir? If I file it. Antayin natin. Siguro they're still preparing the testimonial and documentary evidence. Will you urge the ILG, sir, to to file criminal charges against them? Uh, they ASAP, don't have sir? to be urged. That's their duty. In fact, they said so. But they're preparing. Thank you, sir. As okay. soon as they're ready. MPC questions. Uh, Rosalie. Nestor, pabot ng mic. Sir, can you tell us again kung ano po ang stand ni President pagdating sa mga election surveys? Election what? Election surveys. Pagdating sa election surveys, although na-mention na niya before na siya bago siya manalo sa pagka-presidente, wala siya sa survey, pero eventually mataas yung nakuha niyang uh, boto. So ano po yung stand ni President pagdating sa election surveys? Wala naman siyang sinasabing kung anong stand niya ngayon, yung mga surveys ngayon. Yes, sir. Wala ko narinig na he mentioned anything about surveys. Pero does he believe sa mga election survey results? Well, kung, if you will base it on the previous election where he was the candidate, maniniwala siya kasi, di ba, during the presidential campaign, the service showed him winning and he did win overwhelmingly. So you think that the president believes it will somehow convince the electorate, yun pong survey results, to gain support? Oh, your question should be whether or not the surveys will influence the voters. That's very difficult to say. Mm. Sir, uh, yeah, the, some of the candidates who are not included in the winning survey would not believe that, of course, as far as they're concerned. That's only a guide. The reason I'm asking this question kasi po si admin senatoriable Bongo po pasok po sa pangatlo sa Pulse Asia survey. So what can the palace say about that result? Oh, whether or not the palace believes that he will be, he's in the number three? Three? Yes, sir. In the Pulse survey? Well, given the fact that he's very visible, I'm not surprised. Why is within the top three? It's very visible. And as we know in this election, and for that matter, previous elections, awareness is number one consideration. You may be very good, but if the people are not aware of your name or goodness, well, I don't. Okay. Birthday girl, Julie. Hi, sir. Um, two election watchdogs, Contradaya and uh, Namfrel, are claiming that Bongo may have committed vote buying when he allegedly distributed cash assistance to victims of a certain fire incident last week. Why don't they file if that is what they believe in? You know, um, I look, I look at the provision. Baka may rapan eh, kasi. What it says there is 
that will induce the voter to be influenced by what you get. Eh, iba nang mukhang ibang situation dito kay Bongo sapagat these are donations and they are five victims. Pangalawa, I read also na it was not even him who gave the so-called donation, cash donation. May hirapan sila doon. Pero sir, um, is the palace thinking of, or maybe, is the president thinking of uh, maybe cautioning Bongo against doing anything that might be construed as an election offense? Bongo is a responsible person. And he has his own, I suppose, lawyers surrounding him. Thank you, sir. May follow up? Ina. And I don't think Bongo will be violating any election offense. Sir, you mentioned uh, awareness is number one. Compared to the other candidates in the, uh, in the top 12 of the latest survey, see uh, former Secretary uh, Go has not been around as long as the others there. How do you think does the... Uh, does this reflect on the president's yung sinasabing endorsement power, considering that Secretary Very strong former... endorsement niya. Apart from that, you must remember that for the last three years, Bongo has been very, very visible. Print, media, television. You always see him. When you see the president, he's there. Either he's beside him, talking to him, or in the background. In all events, he's always there. So the awareness is very high. Okay, may follow up on other issue? MPC? Number? Yeah. Or RJ? Parang wala ka nang I'm missing your questions. Sir, and the uh, former SAP Bongo is still there every time the president has uh, events. Anywhere They're friends. Here in, and okay. as I said, if I were him, I'd always be wanting to be in the side of the president, knowing that this president has endorsed me. You don't see that as an unfair advantage? No. Why? Well, it should be unfair. Mm -hmm. are, are you going to deprive Two people of friendship? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. And, sir, and all candidates will be doing that. All right. <laughs> Whether you're in the opposition or not. If somebody likes you and is prominent and influential, you would want to be siding with him. And sir, uh, on the cash distribution, are you defending Mr. Go on that? No, I'm, I'm just giving you my own, as a lawyer, Mm -hmm. examining the provision. Mm -hmm. The operative word is inducement. If the intention is to induce, then you will be violating the provision. But the problem is how would you prove inducement? Especially in this particular case of Bongo where they are fire victims. It would be different if you just give Wala namang kadahi-dahilan. So, and then sasabihin mo, kandidato ako ganito, uh, you're already so violating. So during campaign season, sir, it's okay for candidates to give cash to victims of fire or any other calamities? Eh, ako, eh, very perfect. The chairman of the commission, eh, I will consider that. Kung may tragedy, baka I will be the one to argue, uy, magbigay naman kayo doon. Kawa na mo kayo sa mga tao doon. Kawawa na. Yung cash, sir, na nakalagay sa sobre na may pangalan ng politiko. Ang, ang problema doon sa yung, yung sinasabing, pareho rin yan ang mga violation ng mga streamers. You don't know exactly kung sino ang nagbigay doon. Paano kung yung kalaban mo pala nagbibigay noon? O di, may problema. Di ba? Kasi, sangayon doon sa what I read in the papers, di naman daw si Bongo ang nagbigay. Mantao. How will you prosecute? Mm -hmm. Thank you, sir. But knowing Bongo, I've been hearing him. When I, every time I see him, he keeps on saying, 
Sir, they're always saying this and that. I don't even know. Kaya nga, sabi niya, I've already made announcement that I will not be receiving any help from any of you anymore. Kasi my name is being dragged unnecessarily. Kaya, knowing that man, I don't think he will allow that to happen. But anyway, if they feel that he has violated, or hindi mag-file para magkaalaman, di ba? We'll let the COMELEC decide. Last three, Pia, Danielle, and Vance. Sir, other topics. Sir, on the controversial Kaliwa Dam, you said yesterday that the government will be studying the uh, proposal of the Japanese company on the construction of the Kaliwa Dam. But there's a statement from uh, MWSS Administrator Velasco saying that uh, their uh, contract with China on the construction of the Kaliwa Dam is already a done deal. But given, sir, that this uh, Japanese proposal looks like it's a better um, uh, better and more um, um, uh, it, better and a cheaper uh, proposal compared to the Chinese contract will President Duterte order uh, the government to revisit or reevaluate its contract with China I, uh, we will leave it to his judgment call but if you ask me personally if the advantage is so clear, if, if it is true that the Chinese proposal is onerous, I think we should look into it. Because on face value, palang sir, the construction cost um, is uh, four hundred ten million dollars for the Japanese proposal compared to the eight hundred million U.S. dollars. Uh, by the Chinese company, and that 85% will be coming from the Chinese ODA and 15% will be coming from the Philippine government compared to the Japanese proposal na full amount will be financed by the Japanese um, company. But we should, I think that should be thoroughly studied if, if the claim of the Japanese is true or not. Because we, we, we don't know exactly, but uh, we're also speculating. It, it's not speculation, sir, because it, it's facts, talaga. Yeah, like, those are the facts. But why, why is it, why is the price higher than the other one? Baka meron reason, diba? Baka ibang technology nilang gagamitin. Baka ibang depende siguro. So that's the question, sir. Will President Duterte or Malacanang order the reevaluation of the Chinese contract? to at least accommodate itong Japanese proposal? Me, wh what I will do is I will ask the this particular Japanese entity or firm to give us a copy of their proposal and then my office will look into it. And then I will make a recommendation to the president. Thank you, sir. Okay, last one na tayo, Daniel, and then Vance. Sir, pinapatanong lang. Uh, some congressmen are saying na doon sa water crisis po, nabawiin na lang daw ng government yung water management. Ano pong comment dito ng palas? You mean the concessionaires here put reverted back? For now, I think the problem only lies with the other concessioner. <clears throat> and... Apparently, it has already solved the problem because we have 90%, almost 100% water supply. So if it's a question of inefficiency or mismanagement, then that can easily be resolved. Sir, for now, wala pang plano. Na wala, wala pang naririn plan. Okay, last question na tayo. Timeless beauty. Dance. <laughs> wow. Kahiya naman, sir. <laughs> Pero thanks for the compliment, sir. Anyway. <laughs> uh, uh, sir, uh, kasi we have this shooting incident that happened in New Zealand and now the latest... Shooting? Is, uh, yes, shooting incident. Old threat meron naman. Yes, threat at the Netherlands. Now, how can the 
government, how can our government prevent this kind of incident? How can you prevent yes. when a deranged person starts shooting people? Yes. What will do? What will the government do to well, prevent this? That's why I, I was asking, how can you prevent a deranged man? You don't even know who the a deranged man is. Mahirap na sagutin yon. Like the the one in. Uh, Are you shooting now? The Netherlands. The Netherlands. The Netherlands. Netherlands. I yes. read in the papers na mukhang may diferensya yung mamang yun. Hmm. Vinidyo niya pa yung killing. Ha? Huh? Oh, sa New Zealand nga. Hindi yun sa Old Trek. Sa Old Trek. Old Trek. New, New Zealand. Not Netherlands. New Zealand. Kaya may, may hirap mo rin malaman eh. Siyempre, sir, may intel naman tayo eh. Oo, oh, may intel. Can you read the insanity of a person? A normal person? Sana libing lang nagwala. Di ba? Mahirap eh. So anyway, thank you, sir. Okay, thank you, MPC. No more questions. Okay, thank you, Chief Presidential thank Legal you. Counsel Salvador Panelo. Thank you, Malacanang Press Corps. Back to my studio sa Radio Pilipinas and People's Television Network.